Hey everyone, Vincent here from XVS Productions and welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, we actually have a special one today. It's actually my first Adobe After Effects video tutorial. And I'll be showing you how to create a very basic space intro in Adobe After Effects. So here's what we're going to be creating. So as you can see, you have the space background environment in the background, and then you have your supernova bright light in the background, and then of course you have your text right there in front of you, which has a whole bunch of effects applied to it, such as the glow and the bright light and the shine, of course. Now this is actually a very easy animation to create. One, because I actually pre-rendered the background for you. And the background is basically just the space in the background, and then of course um, the bright light. And I actually pre-rendered it and put it in the project file, and the project file right here is included in the video description. So go to the video description, download the project file, and it will include the After Effects project file right here that I'm currently using. And then, of course, your space background pre render which is actually just the space environment. And then the shine, of course, not the text, because the text, everyone's text is going to be different, and there's no point in me pre rendering the text because you're going to change it anyways. Now, the background, I have two versions, the WMV version, which is a little bit more compressed. You can use this version for after, uh, for Sony Vegas, of course, or any other video editor you have. But for um, Adobe After Effects purposes, I'm going to be using the space background pre-rendered QuickTime movie version. So let's get started. Let's go to After Effects, create a new composition. Let's change it to 1280 by 720. Frame rate at 30, duration, maybe 10 seconds. And name it Starfield, or whatever you want to name it. Click OK, just like that. Now enter your text that you wish to animate. So I'm going to type in XVS Productions. Let's go ahead and center it up, scale it up a bit, turn the tile safe. Let's center it. So somewhat over there. Now we're going to animate this text, of course, and we're going to do a flyby, which it which it comes in from behind the camera all the way to the front to this position. So let's change it to a 3D layer. Make sure the text is selected and click on P. And what we want to do is decrease the Z axis space. So X Y Z. Go ahead and hold down Shift and decrease it, so it comes right by you. And pull it back until you don't see the text anymore, which is about right there. Set a stopwatch keyframe. Move it about 10 frames. About right there. Then change the Z back to zero. So what you have is a flyby. It starts from behind you, and it flies to position, just like that. Now what you want to do is add some tracking to this a little bit movement so it doesn't look all still. So right between the two keyframes, let's go ahead, click on the text again, click on the animate play button, and select tracking. Now set a keyframe for the tracking amount. And then move about maybe five seconds depending on how long you want this text to stay alive. So I'm gonna put it about right here between one and two seconds. And let's change this to about three. So it spreads out a little bit more, as you can see. So what you have here is the text flies by. And by the time it lands down to position, it starts spreading out a little bit, a little bit over time. And let's make this all easy ease keyframes. Make it a little bit smoother. Flies in, spreads out. And then let's, let's customize the text a little bit. It looks kind of plain. Let's go to Effect. Make sure your text is selected. Go to Effect, Generate, Ramp. I'm going to change the start color to white and the end color to black or dark gray. Now, of course, you can select any color you want depending on what you want to create. But this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to hire these up a little bit. Give it sort of a metal look, chrome look. White on the top, a little bit darker on the bottom. 
like that, and let's add a bevel and a boss to give it some depth. Layer. Select your text. Layer. Layer styles. And then bevel in and emboss. Now you see some of it it's starting to take shape. We've got to customize this. Let's go to layer styles. Layer styles. Bevel in and emboss. And then for the size, I like to keep it at 1 or even 0 to give it somewhat of a really 3D look if you look really closely. Now if you set it to 3, oh you could set it to 3 depending on the font you use. You can soften it up, I like to keep it at 3 or maybe 1 or 2. That looks good. As you can see it gives it a little bit of depth, maybe somewhat 3D chrome metal looking. And everything else looks okay. Close that. So your text looks pretty good now. Something like that. And let's animate the opacity. Click on T. Set a stopwatch from the beginning of 0, 0, 0. Set it to 0. Move a little bit in the middle, right before it comes into position. And go ahead and set it to about 100. Like the last one, easy ease. You can click F9. Slides in with opacity. And what I did in the original comp was I actually did a linear wipe at the end. So let's go to the effects and presets. Go ahead and search for linear wipe. Drag it to your text. Now it automatically adds some keyframes. Let's go ahead and delete those. Now go to the now go to towards the end of your text. Now what you want to do is find a spot in time where you actually want to end your text or get rid of your text for a new text or maybe for the ending of the intro. So for me, it's going to be a route right here after one second because that's when the text start starts to stop tracking or stop moving. So I'm going to set a stopwatch towards the end where I want it to end for the text. Change it to 100. Move back a little bit, about 10 frames. Set it to zero. So what you have is your text coming in, flying in, and as time passes by, something happens. Your text gets wiped off slowly. It's going to go from right to left. You can always change that with the wipe angle. Just change it to 180 or 90 degrees, depending on what you want. To me, that's fine. As you see, it wipes your text off like that. Though it's a little bit sharp, so what you want to do is feather the edges a little bit. As you see, it slowly wipes off. It's not a sharp black solid wiping off your text. Get swoop, swiped off. That, that's pretty good. Make it easy ease. F9. So that's pretty good. That's just one way to animate text. Of course, you can animate text any way you want, any style you want. Let's go ahead and minimize these. And what you want to do is go to the project file and drag in your space background video pre-rendered drag it to the main comp or starfield project media drag it in here and then take it put in the background just like that you have your text and you have your, your background that looks pretty good what you want to do is offset the space video just slightly because there's a little bit more particles in, um, after the video starts than the beginning of the video. So as you see, it flies in and then it gets wiped off. Now that text looks pretty good to me with the bubble and boss right there. It looks like 3D a little bit. Now this is a very basic tutorial. Of course you can animate the text any way you want. You can use any video editor you want including Sony Vegas or any other thing like that. And all you need to do is click and drag the Starfield background that I pre-rendered for you into the comp. Now to make the star field, the reason why I pre-rendered it in the first place is because it uses a, a plugin that is not free, it's called Noles Light Factory to generate this this background light. And if I and if I teach you how to make the the, the actual space pre-rendered video, not all of you are are be able to follow it because it has an additional plugin that costs money. I'm sure you guys do not want to pay money for that plugin. So I just decided to make 
or pre-rendered the background for you to use. And then for the star anyway, it's actually CC particle world. Um, just hit the particles, spread it out, and just like that, you have this nice intro. Of course, you can add more text, add more transitions, add more flybys, um, change it to a 3D layer, and start flying around this area. Now, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to create this actual space background, just leave a comment below. If you have any suggestions or comment, just leave it below and comment, write, subscribe. Check out the video description for the project file once again, and check out the links in the video description. Very easy tutorial. If you have any tips, questions, leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer. And share some of your tips with us if you have anything on After Effects te text or transitions. And thanks for watching, guys.